Hello guys. I've continued my experiments with uh, railgun accelerating plasma instead of uh, regular solid uh, projectile. And I come at last uh, to the airsoft gun. Uh, the construction of a uh, railgun allowed me to uh, accelerate the plastic projectile by uh, expanding plasma, creating a big uh, pressure inside the barrel which uh, pushes uh, anything what's inside here out. So the construction of uh, the plasma accelerator is the following. I have two coils, long coils, wound in this way. One underneath the barrel and another one at the bottom. You can see from here how it's wound. So the actual turns are long and uh, uh, goes like here, right? Uh, the barrel is between those coils. The magnetic field uh, of those two aligned in such a way that penetrate in the barrel vertically. And two rails inside the barrel, two electrodes, goes in that direction. So the magnetic field penetrates the area between those rails. Uh, this gives me acceleration of any ions traveling from one electrode to another towards this end. Uh, the actually, not uh, the plasma accelerating uh, uh, the projectile, but uh, expanding of that plasma uh, does the work. Uh, the reason uh, of pushing the plasma up front uh, is to the blend the discharge through the whole barrel, instead of one spark in one spot, which will melt electrodes and uh, the device will not work for a long time. This one is actually durable. So, in addition to those two coils, pushing the plasma towards this end, uh, I have another coil wound just around the barrel, in a regular coil gun way. This coil, uh, as I think, actually, uh, protects the barrel from uh, plasma touching its uh, uh, walls. Uh, because the magnetic field uh, of uh, coil wound around the barrel is stronger uh, near the walls of a barrel so this way probably it will push the ions uh, somewhere close inside the middle of the barrel in the center. Uh, anyway, this device should for a few times without any problems so I can assume it's pretty much durable. So the whole setup is the following. I have a battery here, 12 volts lead battery and charger, um, around 40 watts of power. It's a flyback charger. Uh, and uh, three capacitors you see here, but actually only those two I used uh, to energize uh, the, uh, the plasma discharger. Uh, so the energy stored inside this two is around uh, 36 joules or something, maybe 32, around 30, anyway. Uh, this capacitor is just for protection purposes, I did a lazy design, sorry about it. Um, so let's uh, do some shots and I'll show you how actually these bullets are flying around. First, uh, first I'll turn on my charger. And here is the voltage indicator, which shows that we have uh, around uh, almost 700 volts in those two capacitors. Okay, over 700. So I'll do the first shoot without a bullet. You can uh, see how much loud is it. Actually, my ears are painting already because I did some shots uh, before uh, making a video. So I'll do the shot, you will see how this device works without a bullet. Here is it. You haven't seen uh, the plasma coming out of a barrel, but actually it is. Uh, the electrodes goes up to here only. This whole barrel is just a plastic tube, there's nothing inside it. But still plasma goes through that barrel and coming out of up to here, I think, as I can see the shining. Uh, the red shining. I'll do another shot. Yeah, maybe it, it was taped in the camera. Anyway, the next the next shot I'm gonna do with the projectile inside. So I'll insert this plastic ball, the regular ball used for airsoft guns. 
and stick it up to the beginning of a barrel where, where electrodes end and let me shoot into a modeling clay a piece of modeling clay so you can see the result how deep it goes well actually it's not goes through obviously but still has enough energy to make my hand pain and I shoot myself once already <laughs> nothing particular but anyway pretty much painful so here's a shot didn't come out at all ok I'm sorry about it but I do, just don't want to make another video let's do it again Tab. projectile inside I'm shooting the modeling frame here we go we got a little little crater inside here I'll do another shot because the uh, last time I shot was pretty much deep inside I wanna repeat the same good experiment ok one more time Here we go. That's what I wanted to show. 